welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to design an AI today. We're working on AIs. Yes, we're starting the AIs. Artificial intelligences, the otherwise known as the CPUs. Think of it. For those of you not that don't know what AP, or AI means, AI means artificial intelligence. It means you use mathematical equations on a computer in computer programming, well, not necessarily computers, but primarily, and you basically imitate real, natural intelligence, the thing God gave us all, intelligence, the ability to understand. So that's what artificial intelligence is, us trying to remake what God gave us, and it's not going to be easy. But today we're only getting our AIs started, all we're doing is making them. Uh, we're not going to script at all today. But it's a good start, and once we finish these AIs, we'll be done with the game. Uh, well, okay, not once the AIs are done. We'll also have to make the lasers hurt the AIs. After that, we're done with the game. Um, which is sad, but it's also great, because we can move on to... Awesome, other, other awesome stuff. I'm thinking, you guys, please comment below what you are thinking. Uh, but also tell me if you like this idea. But I'm thinking, I just finished making a tycoon from scratch. I didn't use any tycoon kit. So what if we made a tycoon next? Hmm? What if that's what our next project was? There's a lot I can teach with a tycoon. And I think it'd be a pretty darn good idea. So, tell me in the comments below, do you have another idea? I'd love to hear it. Or, do you like my idea? If so, give me some ideas for the tycoon. But keep in mind, it's going to be basic. I don't want to make a fully themed tycoon. I just want to teach you guys. I'm not here to make huge games for you all. Alright, now, let's get to the main meat of this video. Go to the starter GUI. 2D game. Window. And insert... Hold on. Let me bring up the basic objects window again. Again, again, again. Alright. And we're going to insert a text label. Much like we did with our player. And then I'm going to put the basic objects back. Alright, this text label goes into enemies, actually. I'm sorry about that. We're just going to title it enemy. Simple, I think. Simple. Um, and let's give him the size... Uh, well... First, let's position him to where you guys will be able to see him. Um, 0.7 by 0.5. Ah, uh, 0.7 is too far away. Let's go with 0.85. There we go. Alright, so his size... Well, let's look at the player size. Half, or 5% and 5% for both. Now, we want the enemies to be a little smaller than the player. So, I'm thinking... 4% for the width, and 3.5% for the height. And actually, for the height, maybe we should keep it 5%. Uh, for the laser's sake, the laser's sake. So yeah, we'll go with half or er, 5% for the height, and four, roughly 4% 4 for the width. Um... And then we will go down and take out this text. Who wants that text? Go up again. Up again, up again, up again. All right. Change its background color. And we're going to make eh, a dark red. Goes with my theme. You can make it any color you want. Just make sure it's distinguishable from the actual character. And that anybody playing your game will understand without having to be told by a tutorial that that is an enemy. Now, granted, they'll probably figure it out once it starts attacking them. But... It's good to give that preemptive help. Um, so, and then the border color. I actually want a border color this time. And I'm just going to make it pitch black. So, pitch black border. Zoom in to see my grand thing. I don't know. That is what I'm making my AI look like. Keep in mind a couple tips when you're making your AI. You want it to be distinguishable. You want it to stand out, and you want it to look like an enemy. You don't want players mistaking them for an ally or even their player. 
Unless, of course, that's the point to your game. But if your game is supposed to be just a shooter, platform shooter, you want to make it obvious. And you don't want players to have to learn the hard way. At least not too hard. Alright. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button as I nearly hit down my fan in my room. Uh, and, uh, of course, by how you felt about this video, it helps me out a ton. And remember to comment about the tycoon idea or what other projects you may like to learn about. Alright. And I will catch you guys later.